Right, guys, time to make a scythe. All right. Let's see if we can do this now. Oh, gosh. Quite a complicated pattern. Let's come around to here. I'm used to doing pickaxe heads, but scythe heads are something different. Take that one this way. I won't go right. Okay, then we will move those three in there. I'm hitting as delicately as I can. that way right that's got all the green bits covered up so now what we need to do is to take out the excess which is quite a bit Excellent, one scythe head. And while we're at it, let's put these two, one on there, and one on there to get ourselves another plate. And we need a scythe. The reason I need a scythe is I'm trying to breed up animals. Now, oh, that looks wonderful, but I'm so looking forward to the 1.14 update when these scythes we get a better motion um, oh don't stop now don't stop now I don't want to have to hammer you out come on keep going you can do it almost there good it's gone in the hopper Wow, I thought the wind was going to stop then. Good. Another one. We will have so many lanterns. I just came out here, guys, um, just having a look around because I'm going to build a mob trap. And I just thought this looks so, so pretty. Look at that at night, isn't it lovely? A light in the darkness. I'm all alone on this world, apart from the traders, and I'm very grateful for them, actually. But doesn't that look splendid? I wonder what it looks like from the other side. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look from the other side. Actually, let's go around and have a look how it does look at night. So we'll, we'll go over into the darkness. I have my lantern with me. I have been doing a lot of cutting of grass out here. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? The lighting is so good. Yeah. And I love the sort of different levels I've managed to get. It's just through building with the terrain here. I never plan houses or anything like that, but I'm just loving how it's looking, even though I am going to extend it. I'm just sort of contemplating gently how to do it. 
oh that looks nice doesn't it i like i like that slight rise in level there we might have to do that again and take it up one more level yeah that's really good there yeah i'm liking that i put a few more lights along this path just to make it look prettier and we'll go over here to where the the drifters all hang out in this area over here have a little look from here from our nice flat hilltop now where we have the wonderful termite mounds i travel miles to find this yeah that is a very skinny build there and i think it's uneven yeah that's two and that's three how did i get that uneven because it won't go even at that size yep this is where we're going to be building out over the void again. We can peer in through our windows and see what the cellar looks like. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Dawn over the desert. And before me lies an upside down cone of salt. And all around me are the hyenas. I know, ghastly, isn't it? This was a really, really good area for me because I found some of my first shells here. I found salt. And I also found quartz with silver in it. Yeah, you've just bitten my backside and run away. I'm going to go up the mountain where you can't get me because I'm taking this down from the top. Now, I've got a mining bag with me and I'm not sure it's even going to hold salt, but I've got my other bag with me in case it doesn't. It's one of these things where you just have to do the best you can. Yeah, and this, guys, this is all halite rock. So this is a literally a mountain of salt. So I'm just going to take my pick now I can park the other pick in here to give myself more room and then I'm just going to take down as much as I can and this limestone rock I'm probably going to try to get some whole blocks out of it so this is going to be quite a a mining expedition particularly in view of the fact that I've got salt ready to fall on me at any minute now the big question is and I know I should have checked this beforehand does salt it does look at that brilliant I mean you actually have to mine the stone out and then you go back and you crush the halite rock to get rock salt brilliant I've got some rock salt in real life and it is actually this color so guys I'm in for a few happy mornings digging It's the most beautiful place here, you know. There's an, a waterfall cutting down the side of that mountain. You can look around and see all the different things that are around. There's something down there. I'm not sure what that is. And then as you look around, the, the water in the desert is dark blue. I've got a hanging island there. And look at the vertical striations on the rock there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And these striations going down here. It's really, really beautiful, especially with the deep blue sea. Just gorgeous. Right, I've got enough to keep me going and some whole rocks as well. And you can see I've got plenty more salt there. There's my hanging bit. And over here, there's even more salt even more rock salt so it's quite a good area for me over here Let's, oh, let me just take my lantern off it's so bright out in this beautiful limestone desert oh hello jumped off a mountain at me I'm going around the corner here because over here I've got I should have oh what's that a ruin right I must think I might actually let's go and have a look at that ruin it is of course the way I'm not going we can go around the corner here and go and have a look at it and uh, see what it looks like it's 
You hear our footsteps on the sand. Let's just have a... Oh, oh. Press shift. Ooh. It's quite an interesting looking hole, isn't it? Shall we... Oops. And if we're going into a hole, let's put our lantern on our belt, sword in hand, torches at the ready. Let's get that lot into the mining bag. And, uh, oh. I can already see a drifter. Ooh. Oops, don't do that. All right. Oh, oh gosh. Right, let's just go away. You do not need to die down here. This is a negative temporal area. So if we do find anything here, it's going to be seriously bad news. Yeah, you too. Is there anything down? Oh my gosh, it's a dead end. Ooh, fight your way up, girl. Fight your way up. Don't get trapped like you did the other day. Come on, faster, 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 faster. Yeah. This is a deep cave. Right, there is nothing there. So let's mark that as nothing. I'm not sure whether my map actually spawns stuff anymore. Ooh. Oh, gosh, look at you all. Anything? Oh, there's copper there. Yeah, I'm not sure that's quite worth all the effort of this lot. Look at them all. Over here, boys. Come on. Right, now let's run past you on here. There we are. I think there's a lot of copper up there. There's copper down here. Is there anything else? You know I'm looking for ruins. There's a light there, limestone rock. What's up there? Um, let's just pull it up. It's these little crevices are always particularly interesting to me in case somebody had a house up here. Oops, we need another block there. Oh, that's very... There's nothing here. There is nothing in this cave. I'm rampaging around, beset by drifters. Oh, you're all down there. Hmm. I got myself up here. Can I get down? Uh, I can. Let's just do it. Just do it. Can you hit them from here? I don't think they're even deep drifters. Don't keep hitting me. God, so many of them. I don't think I can reach them to cut them from here. 
Maybe I can. That's, that's a deep drifter. Um, let's eat something, shall we? And I need to watch my temporal gear here. I only wanted a quick look, guys. Stalactites, beautiful. I want to harvest some of them. I don't think I can reach from here. Um, those are all dead. Let's just spam a few more torches. Try and keep the ones who are there at bay. Oh, I'll have to kill the wretched things. Go away. Oh, no. Uh oh. Can't harvest something, can't kill. Right. Can we get anything from you guys? Disappointing. As for you, stuffed in a corner. I killed a lot of this lot. Oh, I could reach him from there. Just wasn't showing up. Oh, well. Bit of flax. We want better things than this. But I mean, I don't think these are going to give me much. Come on. Nothing. That's a deep drifter. Alright, bit of flax. We'll have it. You might be lucky. I was reaching that from two up. Just remember that in future. Dead deep drifter. Oh. Flax. You're a disappointing lot, you lot. <laughs> now where on earth did I come in? Oh, up here, didn't I? Well, seeing as we're here. Let's take that copper. Okay. Oh my word. I am going to have to go up mostly yeah because my temporal gear is going negative I come up the wrong side of this don't oh <laughs> that's the better side to go up am I in a negative area Will it go back positive again? It's still negative. I'm in a negative, negative area. Let's try and get out of it. Let's go across the desert. That's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a couple of brown blocks. What are they? I have no idea. I am meandering at night aimlessly. What have I got over here? I'm still negative. I need to get out of this area. Just go straight north. Run. It's still negative. Oh, we're going positive again. Oh, thank goodness for that. 
Goodness me. Right, guys, I'm going to unload all my halite stone into here and then gradually it will grind down into salt. Let's pop our copper. Picked up five pieces in there. Not bad. That's the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Please leave comments and please consider subscribing to me. Goodbye. I hope I see you in the next episode.